Hello everybody, Rebus here, welcoming you to a new game that was recently released, actually today, called Swords of Dido. I have no idea, I've not played this. Uh, let's see, regular mode, recommended for most adventurers. Regular mode provides a strong but fair challenge. Your mode is for those that recognize death is the end and time is always against us. Uh, so then we got relaxed mode. Let's go with regular. Let's, uh, let, let, let's not, you know... Let's not overwhelm ourselves. Wake up! Wake up! Hey, sleepy beauty, wake up. Oh, is that me? This game is really, like, pretty. It's kind of interesting. Don't tell me we've fallen at the first hurdle. Oh gosh, I was expecting a fairy and I got... A beetle? Is that what you are? Maybe if I just pinch your nose. Yeah, don't pinch my nose. It would probably tear it the hell off and be like a gouge in my face. Nothing like a lack of oxygen to bring a person to their senses. Anyway, morning, sleepyhead. Nice of you to join us. Okay, first things first. We've got to get you kitted out with the sword. See that glowing light? Follow it. Glowing light. I'm getting ahead of myself, aren't I? First time nerves. There's a lot to go through, so it's probably better if I explain as we go. Oh, guess I should introduce myself. The name's Puku. Nice to meet ya. Now let's get to town. All right. Oh my gosh, this is this is really kind of cute. All right, all right. You know what? Oh, that's cute. That sword's like okay. So the sword's this way. Let's. Oh, look at you. Oh, don't fly away. Aww. Kind of wanted him. He was cute. Alright. Uh, can we pick up stones? No, no, no. Okay. Like I said, I don't know anything about this game. I know next to nothing. Except that it's this cute little... This is a really cute little town. Like... Didondale? Didondale? This is the main town of the island, but we'll have plenty of time for the tour later. Let's head to that statue. Alright. So I'm digging the aesthetic of this game. Oh, apparently, uh... These are all, like, characters. Alright, let's see, let's see. Oh, don't fly away, little guys. There's no re- Oh, they, like, disappear. There's no reason. Oh, toys. This game is weird so far. As you grasp the sword, you feel a mystic power coursing through your veins and pewing the strength of your forebears. You have become the Sword of Ditto. This looks like um, Legend of Zelda. Are you standing there all sparkly? I guess it's time to explain a few. Ditto is under a curse. See, every hundred years, the wicked witch Mormo rises from her to spread her evil influence. Now, unopposed evil is kind of unfair, so a hero, the Sword of Ditto, also rises to stop her evil schemes. Okay, so that's a pretty big ask. Seeing as you just watched up here and all, but I don't write the rules and there's no complaining department. You want to know what's so bad about Mormo? It's off, a bit off script, but why don't I show you? Beats having to listen to me more. Come on. All right. Oh, so we have like a roll. Okay, okay. I did follow the glowing sword. Oh. Oh, this is interesting. And the music got like all intense for no reason. Okay. Look at all those creeps. Guess they know their ooky spooky master is about to return. Let's check this out or see. Okay. Let's go. So, do I have infinite? I do, I think. All right. At least I think I do. I'm digging the 
bow so far. It's kind of got like a little bit of an auto aim thing going on, and it's got like, yeah, this is like. Okay, the music for this game is way too cheery and stuff. Alright, let's go in. I'm not sure what to expect with this game. Got some bones? Okay, okay. I dig it. Wait. Oh, I hate when games do that. So, like... I'm at the top now for some odd reason. Like, it doesn't make any sense. Alright. I'm not sure if that's doing anything for me. It doesn't look like it. Oh, crap. So, I'm kind of thinking the bow and arrow is, like, my jam. And there's some spikes. Uh, I'm not gonna bother with that thing. It, you know, it wasn't hurting me. Also, I'm very, like, receptive to the idea of, like, potentially dying fighting this thing. Like, I didn't even, like, question it. Like, some random, like, beetle-looking thing was like, Hey, you wanna go fight? And I was like, yeah, why not? I'll go fight. I'll get a sword. I'll stab a I'll stab some people. Why not? Stabbings. Why not? Alright. So I'm trying to figure out. Oh, please don't make me get some key. You're going to make me get a key, aren't you? Okay, so we're kind of going with the, like... We're kind of going with the, um, uh, da -da 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 Legend of Zelda door opening stuff. I'm not really too sure what I'm, like... How this is going to go, though. I've heard this game is roguelike. Oh, that's kind of... It seems like... Way too cheery. I should have known it was you, Puku. One can only hold off the vermin for so long, after all. Yeah, well, it takes one to know one. Should have prepared something better than that. What are you going to do, bringing the sword here so early? According to my curse clock, we still have four days until I kill them in the fated battle. Yes, you. You must be Puku's little... Latest little toy. Charmed, I'm sure. I do hope she explained just what you signed up for. I don't much like toys, you see. I find them a distraction. They bring people joy, okay? So I'll make an example of you, young one. I will unthread every seam holding you together. I will rip your little button eyes off your head. I will pull every inch of your stuffing out and- okay. You're a toy, hmm. It's a metaphor. Deep breath in- okay, I didn't think it was a toy, I was just like kind of confused by that too. Seeing as you're already here, why don't I just nip this in the bud and save the time for everyone? Alright. I think I died. I did. The sword falls. Okay. Apparently I didn't win. And low did the sword fall to the ground, dulled in light, like so many before and so many to come. With the resurrection unposed, Mormos spread a tendril of the darkness across the land. The okay, bowed their heads in fear, praying that the sword may one day be reborn to them. Alright, so is this where the game... Okay, a hundred years later, just as the last ember... Okay. So this is very much starting out like Legend of Zelda. Very, very much. Woo, woo, man, I should be a creepy, decent by voice. Anyway, right. Hello, it's time for us to go. A hundred years I'm waiting for another go at Mormo. So let's get addle. The animations in this are just so smoothly beautiful. My god. This game is just, like, hitting all the right, like, 
The animations alone are just enough to drive home the beauty. Amazing that more mo Okay. What, you've no idea who I am or what you're doing? Fine, I'll give you a quick intro. You're Leia sort of ditto. In short, run around, overcome trials, vanquish Mormo, go- Okay. Once you get your hands on the sword, it'll come floating back. Muscle memory. You know... It's kind of funny that he keeps sending children to their deaths, like... Hey, you're gonna become like a great knight! Oh, look! You died. Like, that's a horrible, like... It's just kind of funny in this horrible, like, way. I mean, don't get me wrong, I understand. The game's gotta... But, man. Burr, I've got a weird feeling in my stomach, and I don't think it's the leftover poop I had for breakfast. Let's head for the grave. He's a dung beetle, isn't he? Yep, I missed that one. Alright. As you take the sword from the grave, you feel domestic power coursing through your veins, impugning the strength of your forebearers. You become the sword of Ditto. Ta-da, we finally have your sword. Our surroundings might give it away, but one last didn't go so well. Mentioned, okay. Once four days have passed, it's time to go kick her butt. But don't worry, it's more than enough time to get everything done. Listen to me, though. We need to get directions to get to the town so we can get some directions. I'll mark it on your map. So do I legitimately only have four days? Oh. I wonder if I actually do. So I'm like confused. Is this my character permanently or if I lose again, do I switch to a different character? It's kind of a weird little like... I was kind of hoping this would be more like... Alright, is this guy good? Could it be the prayer's answer, but let me introduce... Okay, blacksmith. My furnace, okay. Alright, so I don't have any of the items that I had before, do I? I got milk and I got chocolate. And I'm this little kid. Huh. I mean... The old guy should be... Let's check it out. Okay, not gonna lie. Grab a truck. Okay. Not gonna lie. I mean, like... Really, the town doesn't look uh, that much different. I mean, like, pretty much it looks exactly the same. Well, what do you have? You have a sword. If you can find 12 fake mustaches... All right, so quest. Very interesting. This, I'm not sure what I feel about this game so far. All right. Pow, pow. The foam gun does no damage, but can hit targets. All right. Need to utilize the toy. Okay. Okay, so we can now kind of, like, do some stuff with the toys, but we have, like, a toy bar. Um. Alright. Eh. Eh. <laughs> Wait, why does it want me to talk to you? Alright, Mormon witch. I mean, she's something. All right. Be a new customer. All right. So this is a travel companion. Can only travel to, okay. I mean, 
and the game's interesting. I will give it that. Alright, let's see. Let's at least talk to this dude. Tell me, little one, is that a giant dung beetle floating there is my sensitivity? Okay. It was really you, Puku. Sure is. You're the sword keep, right? One and the same. I was concerned my time may pass without coming to bear, like my poor grandfather. I assume you're here to discern the location of the anchors. Perhaps not. Okay. Does this poor child even know about Mermo? I think. I did mention that. I need to start taking this more seriously. The last sword didn't even survive long enough to make it to our hall. Okay, okay, you're right, I get the message. I'm not sure you do, Puku. The failure 100 years ago has caused, okay. Her monsters will spread across the island and Mormo's wicked rule has sapped our little remaining hope. The last faint gleam of hope is the sword here now. They are all that stand between salvation, okay. That means we need a proper plan of action. Your next move should be to destroy Mormo's anchor. It's one of the instruments of her regeneration. Okay. To access the chamber, you require one of the toys of luncheons. Here I marked it. Okay. Okay. Let's see, what do we got? A lot of exposition in this game. There's only four days until you fa- okay. Now four days might not- so make sure you- okay. Alright, symbol of the belief of serendipity. Oh, and there's this kind guy, Astro. He's a bit of a downer, but he may be able to help you with the whole time limit thing off. Okay, Sully. All right. So is there? Oh, so this is like kind of like Majora's Mask in a way. Like you're very constrained with time. Huh. This does nothing. That's right. All right. So if I do this, oh yeah. Okay, so you get money, you level up, um, I almost want to do it just for science, just to see. Mormo Palace, level two, let's, I almost want to see. So I'm going to do something stupid, I'm actually going to like, get beaten, yes. I'm curious if I start as a different character. Sword falls. Press A to continue. I think that... I mean, I'm trying to figure this game out. Okay. Like so many before and so many to come. There's one. Okay. So it does kind of like restart. Oh. Okay. Beckoned you, okay. All right. So it is very much like, hold on. It is very much like that. You kind of get to replay through the thing. He comes back. Okay. So you kind of start off differently. It's we okay, this is kind of cool. I actually do enjoy this. I think this is very interesting. All right. So I'm kind of curious. What do you guys think of this game? Um, I'm curious what your, I'm curious to figure out what you guys think of this game. If you want to see more of the sort of Ditto, I would definitely uh, be interested in playing more of it. But I am kind of curious, if you guys are definitely interested in seeing more of it, we can uh, put some more up on the channel. 
But I actually think we are going to end this episode right here for right now. And I'll say until next time, guys, this is Rebus saying, I'll catch you later.